David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. The pen I'm going to be going over today is from Pelican. It is the Special Edition Gold Marbled M200. Now, for this review, I have something a little different for you. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over the parts and features of the Pelican M200, provide you with my thoughts and feelings on the pen, but then I'm also going to show you the opinions of a number of other folks as well. Uh, a while back, I did a video all about pen clubs, and in that video, members of the Triangle Pen Club, the club that I intend on a monthly basis, joined me in reviewing a pilot vanishing point. The club enjoyed participating in that review, so since it had been almost two years since we did that first one, then I thought it would be time for another. Plus, it made for an interesting topic for our latest meeting. Some of the contributing members are new, and some are the same as the last group review that you saw. Uh, there's a lot of content for this video, so let's go ahead and get started. To begin with, thanks go out to Applebaum for providing this pen on loan for review. The pen arrives in this box, the drawer slides out, and inside we have this very nicely ribboned pouch. I've always liked these Pelican pouches. Uh, it's not leather, but it's very soft. And then inside the pouch, we have the pen. Uh, this is the Pelican M200 in the gold marble finish. Now, in regard to Pelican's numbering system, a pen with an even number like 100, 200, 400, etc., those models have gold colored trim, and the models ending in a 5, like 105, 205, 405, those have silver colored trim. The pen is made from a lightweight acrylic resin, and when I say lightweight, I'm referring to the overall weight of the pen. That's not a comment on the durability. Uh, the cap and the piston knob are a stark white, and the meat of the barrel, which we'll get a closer look at here in a minute, is a very nice marbled gold. Uh, let's start by taking a look at the top of the cap. I've always been a big fan of Pelican's finials. Uh, I like the pagoda-esque design. And then on top, there is the Pelican logo. Uh, then we have the traditional Pelican clip, which is in the shape of a Pelican's bill. Uh, as with the finial design, I've really always enjoyed the Pelican clips as well. Now, the cap angles up slightly, only about a millimeter and a half from beginning to end, where we have a band on one side is engraved with the brand name Pelican, and on the other side it says Germany. There is a medium-sized step down to the barrel. Uh, the barrel isn't perfectly straight. It angles up about two-tenths of a millimeter and then tapers back down about four-tenths of a millimeter. The barrel material has some very attractive golden pearlescent swirls. I think this is a real attractive material. Then there is a small step down to the piston knob, and at the end of the pen, it is rounded. The cap unscrews, and underneath we have this stainless steel nib. Uh, while the nib is on the small side, I feel it's size appropriate for the overall size of this pen. It's available in extra fine, fine, medium, and broad. And here's a look at the plastic feed. Now, Pelican does make their nibs in-house, so this steel nib will have a different feel than, let's say, your typical Yovo nib. Uh, you'll get a closer look at it in the writing sample, but I find it to have more flex than you typically see from a non-flex steel nib. Uh, and I find it to have a bit more tooth. Uh, in my experience, Pelican steel nibs don't have the same buttery smoothness as their gold nibs do on some of their higher-end models. The section begins with a very slight flare. Uh, the section isn't especially long. My grip rests right on the resin threads, which I don't feel are sharp or uncomfortable. Uh, the threads transition smoothly into the barrel, which begins with a very generous ink window. The translucent resin on the window is a golden amber, which complements the rest of the pen nicely and gives you a really good look into your ink situation. Uh, this is a piston filler with a decent ink capacity. The cap does post, and it does post securely. Uh, the cap is very light and doesn't backweight the pen or throw off the balance at all. Uh, while the pen is plenty long enough for me to use comfortably unposted, I actually prefer to post this pen. The price for this special edition Pelican M200 on the Applebaum site is just over $120, which I feel is an outstanding price for this model. Uh, 
it's a Pelican. Pelican makes some great pens. Uh, the steel nib on this pen is very unique and interesting. And if you're looking for an entry level Pelican, this M200, especially at this price point, is a very attractive purchase. I'll put a link in the notes below where you can check out this pen on the Apple Bomb site. Thanks again, go out to Yoast from Apple Bomb for providing this pen on loan for review. But Enough about my opinion. Now it is time to see what some of the members of the Triangle Pen Club, which meet in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, feel about this pen. And then I'll return with some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Hi, I'm Liz. Uh, I've been coming to Pen Club for almost maybe nine years now. Uh, when I'm on top of my game, I blog on nopenintended.com, but I've been slacking on that lately. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the M205, 250, 200 type series. Um, this is one of my favorite Pelican pens because it's nicer, but sort of more affordable for me anyway. The gold nibs are a little bit out of my price range typically. Um, for me, I have average hands, so it's a good size, nice and lightweight. It holds a lot of ink, which I actually personally don't care for because I use so many pens at once that I don't go through all of that ink, but most people that's going to be a bonus for them. And I really like that the nibs are interchangeable because I'll get like some extra, like an extra broad nib and then practice and make my own, like this is an architect nib that I ground. So that's one of my favorite things about this Pelican pen. Hi, I'm, I'm uh, Carl. I live in uh, High Point, North Carolina, about uh, 60 miles uh, west of here. Um, I've been attending pen clubs for about two years now, so this is a good opportunity for me to meet other people who have a wide range of uh, pens and, and inks and that sort of thing, so it's a good education for me. Um, I, since we're talking about the Pelican 200, I had gotten my first one about a year ago from a friend of mine who had given it to me as a gift and uh, I immediately kind of fell in love with it because when I was mentally designing a pen in my own head on what I liked about a pen, this pretty much uh, fit everything that I needed. Uh, one, I always keep my the pens that I'm using in my shirt pocket and uh, this is a very small pen in the sense that I can keep it in my shirt pocket and get to it very easily. Hi, I'm Trey Kordelski and uh, I really enjoy the M200. Uh, the section's a little short for me personally. It keeps my fingers a little too close to the page for my personal comfort. But I really enjoy the, the capping mechanism and the overall length of the pen. And especially on this one, I like the, uh, the ink window that's uh, just above the grip. Hello, my name is Joe Haggerty and I bought this uh, Pelican M200 about uh, 10 years ago. And uh, I have Richard Bender customized the nib for it. Uh, it's, it's a great pen. Uh, uh, what I like about them is uh, it won't break the bank. It's not, at least for most people, it's not a tremendously expensive pen. Um, Love the nib, again it was a customized nib and uh, it's very reliable. Um, my wife was telling me the other day she used it and she said it doesn't work, well she didn't have ink in it. So the only time I've had one of these fail is when it didn't have ink in it. So I never, never had to send one out for repair ever. And it holds a decent amount of ink. So it fits my hand nice, it's not too big, I'm not into big pens so um, that's about it. Like it. Hi, this is Andrew. Um, I have been a collector and a lover of fountain pens since the 1990s and one of my favorite fountain pens that I've used um, quite a lot is the Pelican M200. What I like about the Pelicans is um, that they are modern versions of what I like about vintage pens. So a lot of times vintage pens will be very lightweight, um, they will hold a lot of ink, and um, they're not very large pens. So even though I have fairly large hands, I like the smaller pens. Um, and these wonderful 200s, they come in lots of different colors and they do have the interchangeable nibs, which are really good. Um, but the nibs themselves are very well made. The pens are lightweight, they have a good comfort feel to them. And with the piston uh, fill, I like that a lot because I tend to stick with one ink color. Um, and so it holds a great deal of ink. So these are a lot of fun. 
Um, I like the fact that they're lightweight, they're very well made, there are no nonsense, no drama pen. I don't have to worry about it, I can fill it up and use it for a long, long time without having to worry about it. And that's why I like the Pelican M200s. Uh, Dexter Mills from the Dur Ra uh, Raleigh Durham area, been in fountain pens for a little over 10 years doing restoration and purchasing what I like. Uh, I do like Pelicans. Uh, the, I prefer the 600 over the over this size because it fits better in my hand. But they're wonderful pens. They write well, and I will continue to buy Pelicans. Hey folks, I'm Mike Madison, inkdependence.com, and uh, I'm here to help out with this M200 review. Pelican M200 is a nice small pen. If I have to give it a drawback in a minute, that's going to be what it is. Well made, good manufacturing, uh, nice nibs, not super duper wet like the rest of Pelican's lines tend to be. Good piston, has a nice ink window that you definitely can't see me looking at the bubble in right now. Uh, as far as uh, problems with the pen for me, it's a little too small for these giant uh, mitts. And uh, I think kind of for my money, it's hard to recommend this over uh, like a Twisby Eco or some of the other uh, piston-y pens out on the market that also use steel nibs and such and are a little bit bigger. But uh, style-wise, this gold marbled, that's, that's a good looking pen. Happy New Year. This is Chinese New Year. My name is Xiang Tai, <coughs> living in Durham. I've, uh, ever since the high school, we always use fountain pens. Uh, I always get my fingers like uh, pockets full of ink. <coughs> I'm so happy that we have all this uh, improvement of the newer design of fountain pens. This is uh, uh, 200, a uh, uh, very old 200 I have a long time. And this is another, and it's a demo model. I like that very much. One thing I like the Pelican is that you have these interchangeable nibs. And I, for one, one of them, I have a very thick this, uh, uh, calligraphy nib. And then I have another, it's like a one millimeter and a, a different size. I really enjoy using different size of nibs, doing either uh, uh, italic calligraphy or learn into different kind of calligraphy. Hi there, I'm Jesse Justice and here are my thoughts about the Pelican M200. Uh, really nice pen from what I can tell and uh, I really like the colors and I like the gold trims. Um, the combination with this gold wave uh, acrylic is nice and I like the pump uh, filler. The, uh, the window is really nice and I enjoy that. Um, overall, very nice pen. My name is Paul Welty. I've been using a pen for uh, close to 80 years now uh, and have seen a lot come and go. Uh, this is a very attractive um, pen. Uh, I think it's d done uh, very nicely and my wife would uh, enjoy this uh, greatly. Uh, it's just a little small for my hand. Uh, but um, that in no way distracts uh, from uh, the general appearance of the, of the pen. Hey guys, I'm Steve Williams. I'm the uh, only true southerner in this North Carolina outfit here of pen aficionados, but I came to Fountain Pens late, just about two years ago, and soon found this club and have, have really enjoyed it because I'm, I'm a brand newbie, no two ways about it. I got really lucky a couple well, early on in my pen career and found Pelican and got lucky and was able to acquire uh, an M800, which is a much bigger pen than is the 200, and have come to love that. And by virtue of that, I've really come to love the whole brand from what I've heard and read and with other members of the club here and what they have. That it's just, as, as one of the other guys said, it's just a solid quality made instrument. I've heard lots of folks refer to Pelican pens as fine writing instruments. And from what I've seen today about the 200, uh, I have no doubt whatsoever that this is, uh, is, holds true to that mantra of the company. Hello, my name is Frank. Uh, today I'm looking at a uh, Pelican M200. It's the first time I've been exposed to this particular pen. Um, I've been into pens probably about a year and a half since rediscovering my old childhood fountain pen. Um, so I've been slowly acquiring a few more. So um, compared to some of the pens that I have today, um, this uh, this pen is actually quite smooth. It's it's a it's a nice writing pen. 
um, feels nice on the paper. The section is a little small compared to what I've kind of been getting used to, uh, but it's actually quite comfortable. It's nice. It feels um, probably like a, a bit more of a traditional pen, a common pen size. Um, but I like it quite a lot. Uh, the action on the piston is quite smooth. It's nice. Uh, it feels great. Um, I do wish I could spend a little more time with it to get to know it a bit better. Um, but from what I've seen, I like. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Pelican M200. Here it is with a pilot vanishing point. And then in regard to a couple of other Pelicans, this is an M805 and an M1000. In regard to some other pens, here it is with a Sailor Pro Gear, a Sailor Pro Gear Slim, and then finally a Pilot Stella 90S. In regard to some uncapped comparisons, here it is with the Pelican M1000. Get that lined up there. Here it is with the M805. And then finally, here is the Sailor Pro Gear. Here we go with the writing sample for the Pelican. M200. This is a medium stainless steel nib and the ink that I'm using today is one I reviewed recently. It is Troublemaker Abalone. This is what the ink looks like. It's kind of a, a milky red type color with some nice purple and uh, red undertones. Uh, almost somewhat similar to JFK Blue from Mont Blanc. And this is what it looks like in regard to Diamine Eau de Nil. This is a little more on the green side though. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. Uh, it's an interesting ink. They have a number of interesting colors. I encourage you to check out that review. But in regard to the rest of this writing sample, As I mentioned in the review, this stainless steel nib from Pelican uh, is rather flexible and you can get a decent amount of line variation out of here by applying a little bit of pressure. And with this ink, you get some decent shading on those heavier applications as well. In regard to ink flow, it's decent. In regard to reverse writing, it's a little sharp. And doesn't work that well, but then again, not everyone does reverse writing. In regard to some fast writing, there's no issue with the feed keeping up at all. So there we have the Pelican M200. Uh, it's for the price, I think it's an excellent pen, and I hope you enjoyed taking a look at it, as well as hearing the opinions of some other folks from the Triangle Pen Club as well. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.